Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm going to talk about relationships between people from different countries. Mm. And um, the first question, uh, this question is not for you. It's just a random question. It's, do you think relationships between two people from different countries can work? And uh, I was really, like I had the curiosity to know what people, like on the internet, think about that. So, I went to several websites and um, this is what people think about. Uh, sure, it depends upon, upon the people, not the countries. Um, I think if you love and trust somebody enough in them, anything is possible. I'm hoping so because I'd like my relationship to last. Probably this person is having right now a relationship like with another. As long as they both speak the language of love. Oh, <laughs> so, oh my god, okay. <laughs> it was a man that said that. Wow. So, oh, yeah. Amazing. Yes, yeah. the relationship <laughs> is this strong <laughs> to overcome and problems like distance, cultural, language difference, etc. So the point that it will, like uh, this kind of thoughts and the uh, writings, like here, it's because everyone has a positive, like, um, how can I say, a positive view about a relationship between people from different countries. So, wow. Uh, my presentation, I, will, I, I, choose, uh, I chose uh, three points. And it's the beginning of the relationship. The second one is the pros and the cons. And the third one is the end relationship. <laughs> so I had a relationship with a Canadian boy so I can I'm going to talk about uh, some of the things that I learned and if you I don't know if if you have a relationship in the future with a person from another country we can you can think about that and you can learn a little bit about that. So the beginning I think everything that it's new it's cute and it's exciting excited exciting sorry um everything it's how can i say it's amazing you want to see what will happen and this is not of course about uh, people from different countries it's like all kind of relationships that you have it can be your best friend that after will become your husband or it can be i don't know a person from your country or it can be just between people from different countries so the first kiss is amazing, but the problem when you are having a relationship with someone from a different country, you don't know the culture. You don't know if this person will kiss you at the first day, the second, or the, I don't know, after one year. You don't know if it's normal, kiss on the mouth, like uh, or on the cheek when you see this person. So it's nice. I always say, as, I always say, that the beginning of everything, it's nice. And the message, the text message that you receive, like when you are waiting for that, it's amazing. And when we are talking about the relationship between dif uh, people from different countries, I think that text messages are the best technology because sometimes you can't communicate like in the language and I had this kind of problem. I was really, how can I say, I was feeling more comfortable just texting than you know face to face talking if i could like see the person like face to face i would probably like have my cell phone and prefer to you know text the person <laughs> and the feeling of uh, butterflies on your stomach is amazing and i think when you have this kind of uh, cultural difference i think this is this kind of feeling, maybe it's stronger than the other kinds of, maybe not, but well, you don't know what you will expect, you know, it's kind of, well, I don't know how to explain. The patience that you feel, the beginning of everything is good, so usually you have the patience, you are like crazy, oh my god, I will see this person, so it's amazing. And the curiosity, I think it's one of the nice things at the beginning of a relationship. 
And when you are from different countries, you always know, want to know what this person is thinking about, what like her culture or things about their culture. That I think the curiosity, the curiosity in this kind of things are really nice. Well, I'm just saying about good things. And usually the beginning of everything is good. But now I'm going to the second um, point. And the second point is about the pros and the cons. Well, the pros of a relationship between different countries. Language. You can improve your English. I think my English, I improved a little bit of my English when I had a relationship with another guy like from another country and from Canada. So I could speak every day a little bit of English, not just with my Portuguese friends like Brazilian friends. And it's really, really nice. And um, when you are kind of stressed, you can look for the person's face, you can talk something in Portuguese, the person will, of course, understand a word like nothing. And after you just say, well, probably you said bad things for this person, but just smiling. And after a while, you just say, well, I just said I love you. But well, in the reality, you said bad, bad things. But well, the person probably will never, never realize about what you just said. <laughs> and uh, at the same time, I put the language as a cons. cons. Because sometimes it can be kind of difficult if the person don't use an easy vocabulary. It can be like, I remember many times I was like saying, please, it's really difficult. Can you use another word or another, another verb? And he was always saying, no, you need him. You should improve your English. So you should just, you know, look at the dictionary and something like that. So, well, it's not really nice, but well, okay. <laughs> the culture. The pros, you can learn about another culture, and it's really nice. And the, I think, especially when you are in the country, in another country, you can learn more about the Canadian culture, for example. And the, the cons, well, barbecue, for example, we were talking yesterday. Like, uh, the person will not accept the fact that you were saying that Canadian barbecue, it's not barbecue. So sometimes you have kind of arguments, sometimes they are kind of cute and oh my god, okay, but sometimes it can become like a huge argument that probably you will have forever in your relationship. Another pro, um, another pro, pros, pros, another, well, it's about traveling. If you have a relationship between a person from another country, you can travel and, uh, you know, visit the person's country. It's amazing. You can have a passport if you get married, right? <laughs> you need to think about these kind of things. The cons, meeting his parents. I think like mothers-in-laws are the worst thing in the world. And the worst thing is when you are in Canada and you go and you meet his family and they don't speak English. Like, the day before you were like with your dictionary, with your books, grammar books, like just, you know, training. And when you realize, when you get in his house, they are speaking French. So, Aww. it's kind of in front of you. Probably they are talking about me, right? Probably not, who knows. And um, the pros about the jokes. Usually, your mistakes can become good jokes. I remember when I said, like, for, for, I, I said to my ex-boyfriend, like, hey, sometimes you are a chicken. And they said, sometimes you, you are a kitchen. So I remember Rodrigo was here, another student, and he heard that. So, of course, it became like a private joke. And it's nice when you laugh about your mistakes. Misunderstanding is for me, like, this word is huge and it's difficult. I don't know how to pronounce this word. And I think it's the worst part in a relationship when you have misunderstandings and when you have the difference between like cultures it can happen a lot and sometimes it will break um, your relationship it will um, how can I say uh, turn your relationship sometimes in a nightmare because sometimes if you are not strong enough you just give up and it happened with me but okay I'm okay now 
Then the last point is the end. And uh, usually, when you have a relationship in another country, of course you feel more, how can I say, comfortable when you have someone there, because all your friends are leaving. If you have someone there, and you, if you will stay a little bit more, it's awesome. You have like the fact that you can have a person from that country. But well, sometimes people just, you know, how can I say, they go to different ways. Sometimes one of the person will, how can I say, one of the people, one of the people, will cry a lot, will hurt themselves more than the other one. Sometimes you lose respect, and sometimes you just don't want that the person leaves you because, well, this person was your, I don't know how to explain, but your comfortable point uh, in your life in a strange country. But uh, I don't want to be like pessimistic and just think about the end as like that. I'm sure and I know many, like not many, but um, a couple of couples that they had a really, really, really good ending. And uh, when I say ending, it's not of course forever. And I'm sure all kind of relationships, it's not just about happiness. You have problems, but the way that you will fight and uh, the way that you will be strong enough for how can I say, fight against this kind of problems, I think will decide your future about this person. And uh, I put some pictures here, you can see their happiness, and I'm sure it's not because you were from a, another in a different country that will make you think that it is not possible. If you are strong enough, I'm sure it can be possible. And uh, you can see like that picture, I think it's one of the pictures that would summarize my presentation. You can see probably he's from a tribe, and uh, probably she's not, but you can see how they complement each other, how, you know, they don't care probably about the other people's opinions. And here you can see like an Asian person probably with, I found it in a Canadian website, so probably he's Canadian. And I think this is really cute. And of course, everyone wants to have the end like that. Like a person, a partner for a life. So, my question, I start the presentation with a question about like the websites and everything. So, I don't know about you. And I would like to know if you would uh, give it a shot. It's not, it's not, how can I say, easy. But I'm sure if you are successful in this kind of relationship, you can like look back and you can be really proud of yourself. So that's it. Woo!